So this exercise is to illustrate the dry versus moist adiabatic rates. Don't get this confused uh, with lapse rate that we discussed in the previous PowerPoint. Lapse rate is a change in temperature of the air with altitude. Adiabatic rate is when air changes temperature as it is forced up or down. In the troposphere, the lapse rate of air is on average negative 2 degrees Celsius per thousand feet. Every thousand feet you go up, the temperature drops approximately 2 degrees Celsius. The adiabatic rate is different depending on whether the air is dry or moist. If the air is dry, in other words, no visible moisture, the adiabatic rate is 3 degrees Celsius per thousand feet. Temperature drops 3 degrees Celsius per thousand feet, it goes up, or increases 3 degrees Celsius per thousand feet, it is forced down. The moist adiabatic rate is half of that. Moist adiabatic rate is when there is visible moisture in the air. That is, the temperature has at least reached the dew point, and there's 100% saturation. The moist adiabatic rate is 1.5 degrees Celsius per thousand feet. That is, for every thousand feet that air is forced up, it drops 1.5 degrees Celsius. For every thousand feet that air is forced down, it increases 1.5 degrees Celsius per thousand feet. In our scenario, we're going to, get, going to assume that Vancouver is at sea level and Calgary is at 3,600. And we're going to assume that the temperature coming in from the sea breeze is 20 degrees Celsius with a dew point of 14 degrees Celsius. What is the temperature in Calgary? The first thing we have to do is calculate the base of the clouds and then use the dry adiabatic rate to determine what the temperature is at the base of those clouds. We do that by using the formula temperature minus dew point divided by 2.44 and we come up with 2459 feet MSL for the cloud bases. In order to determine the temperature at the cloud bases we take the temperature at sea level minus the elevation in thousands of feet times 3 degrees Celsius, which is the dry adiabatic rate, and we come up with 12.6 degrees Celsius. That's the temperature at the base of the clouds. Now we know that the temperature at the base of the clouds is 12 degrees Celsius. Now all we need to do is figure out the moist adiabatic lapse rate between the base of the clouds and the top of the peak. Now from the cloud bases, we need to continue to the peak, 12,500 feet, at the moist adiabatic rate, because now we are in clouds, visible moisture. We do that by taking the altitude that we're changing, 12,500 minus 2,459, that's the height of the clouds, divided by 1,000 to figure out how many thousands of feet times the moist adiabatic rate, which is 1.5 degrees Celsius per thousand feet, and we come up with 15.06 degrees would be the change in temperature from the cloud base to the cloud top 12,500. We can find the temperature at the peak by simply taking the temperature at the cloud bases and subtract the change in temperature through the adiabatic process as the uh, air raises through the cloud. So 12 degrees Celsius, which is at the base of the clouds, minus 15 degrees Celsius, which is the change of temperature as the adiabat moist adiabatic process occurs, and we find that we get 3 degrees Celsius, negative 3 degrees Celsius at the mountain top, or 12,500. Now going back down the mountain on the east side, the air has compressed and dried. So we go to the dry adiabatic lapse rate. We're going from 12,500 feet to 3,600. So we take the 12,500 feet minus 3,600 divided by 1,000 times our dry adiabatic lapse rate of 3 degrees Celsius. We find that we will have a change in temperature of 26 degrees Celsius as we move down the mountain. 
To find the temperature at Calgary, we simply add negative 3 degrees Celsius, the temperature at the top of the mountain, to 26 degrees Celsius, the change in temperature as we descend down the mountain as the parcel of air is forced down, and we find that our temperature at Calgary uh, will be estimated to be 23 degrees Celsius.